NBC News is, uh, you know, we were talking yesterday. Harrison Butker did that uh, commencement speech at Benedictine College, and he was awesome. Mm-hmm. He was really great. <laughs> and we were like, boy, there hasn't been any blowback on this. That's that's wild. There's there's nothing to, to push back on him on. Nothing he said was offensive mm-hmm. or wrong or whatever. But we were surprised. Why is the left being so quiet on this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it took them a day or two, but <laughs> they're not quiet about it anymore. Here's NBC News uh, that apparently pissed off at him. Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker is facing harsh criticism after a controversial commencement speech that he gave at Benedictine College's graduation this weekend. Well, you decide if it's harsh criticism because the NFL player is accused of making some sexist, homophobic, and political comments. Take a listen to this. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. Mm -hmm. How many Uh of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. Oh, wow. With excitement and pride. That was, that was Not the deadly sin one. sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him. NBC News correspondent Kathy Park Ooh. joins us now from that Knoxville, one Tennessee Ooh. with the details. Kathy, can you tell us a little bit more about the reaction there? We heard a little yeah, bit of tell it, us about uh, it after he mentioned that he kind of mm-hmm. took that dig at Pride Month. He was he also very critical of President Pride Biden month? in the speech. What else did he say? <laughs> okay, that's your gut. <laughs> Yeah. Hey there, Vicky. So, yeah, this was a 20 minute long speech and there were a couple themes that stood out and it's receiving a lot of backlash, especially on social media. First of all, uh, Butker goes on to talk about the erosion of traditional Catholic values, even pointed to Catholic priests and bishops for, quote, misleading their flock. Um, He also Mm -hmm. went on to talk about a woman's role and even pointed to his own home life and talked about his wife who decided to become a homemaker and decided to forego oh, no. a career and oh, she's no. happy with that oh, decision and, and talked about oh, she's that happy theme with it? as well. Oh, uh, you mentioned no. he also uh-uh. took a swipe uh-uh. at Pride uh-uh. Month and also was very she? critical of President Biden. In oh, fact, he said, quote, critical of President by Biden publicly and pro- oh, proudly no. proclaims his Catholic faith, oh. but at the same time is delusional enough to make the sign of the cross during a pro-abortion rally. Right. Um, as you can imagine, uh, he did not hold back and this this commencement speech has circulated very quickly online. In fact, a former Kansas City commissioner uh, wrote, Harrison Bucker doesn't represent Kansas City, nor has he ever. Oh. Kansas City has always been a place that welcomes, affirms, and embraces our LGBTQ Kansas City members. Um, another person online oh, wrote that, online you know, I've never something. even heard of him until today. And did, he did a bang-up <laughs> job of becoming one of the most hated men in, in North America in the space of one 20-minute speech full of bigotry and bigotry. misogyny. Oh, geez. Oh. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Now, don't you think NBC oh. would have played the, the harshest <clears throat> clips that they had? Yeah. That's that's what they had? Yeah. Well, cuz you how dare you say that a woman is happy being a homemaker? How dare you say that? And he said holy ghost. And he, you can't yes, say he, that. Well, and mm-hmm. his dig at Pride Month. Oh yeah. my gosh, what a dig it was when he said, "I'm not talking about the pride that uh, has a whole month devoted to it. Whoa, boy, that was offensive. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that's homophobic. You talk if you about... say anything, uh, you can't anything that's not glowing praise, then you're homo. You're a homophobe. It was interesting that uh, it's unbelievable. The, the the most criticism they said were yeah, and somebody else said this online, and, and somebody tweeted this. And, right? Uh, oh, what? yeah. I know. Wow. It, here we are, five days removed from the speech, six days, and that's 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 the criticism you got. And you had the Kansas City Commissioner, which, by the way, um, I was sent this morning a couple of tweets because the, the city of Kansas City is like every major American city. Mm-hmm. It's just deep blue. It's gross. It's mm-hmm. communist, quite frankly. But, but look at this tweet that went out uh, yesterday. Uh, it said, uh, just a reminder that Harrison Butker lives in the city of Lee Summit. Excuse me? Are we trying? Is the city? Is who's running this Kansas City uh, social media account trying to dox this guy who has a wife and two small children? And then they tweeted out, "Oh, our bad. We apologies for our previous <laughs> tweet. We apologies. Yes, it was shared in error. <laughs> was it? So yeah, and 
Was it? By the way, you spoke in error, too. Maybe uh-huh. it should have been, we apologize for our previous tweet. So they're doing what they can. It wasn't to, shared in error. Yeah, to you drop know that some they, they did that on purpose. Go find him. Yeah. Let's make his life a living hell. Right. By the way, um, Greg Price tweeted out that there is a currently a, a petition calling for the Chiefs to release Harrison Butker. Again, uh, arguably the best kicker in the National Football League. They're not going to. I hope. And I, I mean, th- if they do, I'd be very surprised. Such a great point from Greg Price. He goes, you think of all the horrible things current NFL players mm-hmm. have done. Tyreek Hill beating his yeah. kids. Deshaun Watson with the masseuse stuff. Um, a various deadbeat dads. But no, mm-hmm. we're going after the guy who suggests, hey, women, you've been lied to. Yeah, This is the real American dream. I mean, this world is upside down. And I hope the Chiefs remain strong. Me too. They have a really good coach. Have they commented about it? I haven't it seen anything. I haven't seen it yet. Mm. Uh, I, if they let him go, that's going to be incredibly disappointing.